Arduino is an open source electronics platform that designs and manufactures microcontrollers and kits to build all kinds of cool stuff. One of the most popular Arduino boards, especially for beginners, is the Arduino Uno. This is a board with an Atmega 328P microcontroller, 14 digital input output pins, 6 analog input pins, a 16 MHz ceramic resonator, a USB connection, a power jack, an ICSP header, and a reset button. That's a lot of stuff, so let's break it down a little bit and also talk about some of the other important hardware and components that you'll use with the Arduino. A good place to start as a beginner is with an Arduino basic starter kit. There's plenty of options depending on your price range. This starter kit, straight from Arduino, costs between 88 to 110 USD depending on if there's a sale going on. That was more than I could afford when I got started, so the option that I went with was this Inland brand basic starter kit. It costs 30 USD, and while it doesn't come with as much stuff, it gives you plenty of options as a beginner, and I only had to buy a few additional things along the way, like a couple different resistors or jumper wires. A second handy thing to buy as a beginner is a sensor kit. They can be purchased through various brands for different prices and in different sized kits. 37 in 1 is a really popular size for sensor kits, and most brands have the same or really similar sensors in their kits. The UNO has 14 digital input-output pins numbered 0 to 13. They can be configured as either an input or output and operate at 5 volts. The pins can provide or receive a maximum of 40 milliamps, but 20 milliamps is the recommended operating condition. Some of the pins have additional specialized functions. Pin 13 has an onboard LED and resistor attached to it. Pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11 have 8-bit pulse width modulation capabilities. Pin 0 can be used to receive TTL serial data, and pin 1 can transmit TTL serial data. Serial communication is used to exchange information between serial devices like monitors, security cameras, printers, or GPS devices, and the Arduino. Pins 2 and 3 are external interrupt pins, and pins 10, 11, 12, and 13 support serial peripheral interface communication when using the SPI library. The UNO has six analog pins that can also function as digital inputs or outputs. These pins are A0 to A5. The board utilizes an analog to digital converter with a 10-bit resolution so it can represent a digital value between 0 and 1023. The pins measure from ground to 5 volts, but you can change the upper end of that range with the AREF pin and the analog reference function. Pin A4 can serve as a serial data line pin and A5 as a serial clock line pin for two-wire interface communication. You use these with the wire library for I2C devices. Breadboards serve as an easy way to connect and hold components. The conductive parts of the breadboard allow electrons to flow through between the things you plug into it. Inside the breadboard are many strips of metal that connect the rows and columns together. The metal strips are springy so that when you poke a wire into the hole, the clips grab onto it. Breadboards are best for beginner practice, prototyping, troubleshooting, or quick experiments. The connections are permanent, so they don't keep circuits together very well or for very long. But the non-permanency of it makes it easy to remove components if you've made a mistake or if you just want to start over with a new project. A breadboard has three functional areas, power rails, terminal strips, and the ravine. Power rails are mostly used to connect to an external power supply. The power rails on either side of the board are not connected. If you want to use the same power source on both sides, you just connect the two sides with jumper wires. The positive and minus signs are for reference. It won't automatically hurt anything if you use the positive sign for ground and the negative sign for VCC, but it's best to keep things in a sensible order. The numbers are there to help you connect everything in the right row. Once components or jumper wires have been inserted into the same row, everything else in the row will be electrically connected to each other because the metal rows are conductive and let current flow through any point in the strip. Even though there are 10 holes in most breadboard strips, only five components can actually be connected on either side of the ravine. The ravine isolates each side of the breadboard, which is why the power rails on either side aren't connected either. Jumper wires are used to connect components. You can place them from one slot to another on the breadboard, from the breadboard to the Arduino, or from the breadboard to an external component like a sensor. The colors of the wires don't affect anything. You can use whatever colors you want. Typically, black is used for the ground wire and red is used for BCC. Since mixing those things up can fry your electronics, it's a good convention to use even though you don't have to. Sensors are a great way to get started with the Arduino. There's so many different types that you can use individually or together, so you've got lots of project options even with just a basic sensor kit. 
Sensors can be either analog or digital. Analog sensors measure a range of values, so things that measure light, temperature, or sound, for example. Digital sensors measure only two states, like on and off or present and absent. Some examples are push buttons, read switches, or tilt sensors. Some sensors very clearly label which pin is which, like this one with the labels S, G and D, and BCC. S is the sensor or switch pin, ground is ground, and BCC is the power input. Others have less labeling, like this one. The S is still for sensor or switch, and the minus is ground. The remaining pin is the BCC input, and it's usually in the middle. If this was your first time seeing me and you'd like to put all this into practice, I would love for you to check out my channel where I've got beginner Arduino tutorials set to the theme of fixing this broken spaceship you see me sitting in right now. For now, Space Pirate Transmission out.